This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Dance like everyone's watching. We'll see how local students at Penn State Hazelton held up over 46 hours at Thawne, raising money for kids fighting cancer. Happy New Week, everyone. I'm Ken Cara, and we're your trifecta of local information on the air, online, and on the Samsung Productions app. Let's get to your headlines from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The Hazelton Area School Board will hold a special meeting on Wednesday. The board will host a public special capital projects committee meeting at 5 p.m. Wednesday. The purpose will be to discuss the building program for the district. A public budget meeting will immediately follow. Both meetings will be held in the district administration building. Meanwhile, you have the opportunity to discuss issues that are important to you with an area congressman. Congressman Matt Cartwright, who represents the 8th Congressional District, will host a public town hall meeting in Hazleton this week. The public forum will take place Thursday from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. at the Hazleton Elementary Middle School on North Wyoming Street in the city, also known as the Castle. The event is free and open to the public. This Saturday marks the 41st annual Greater Hazelton Unit of the American Cancer Society Telethon. The 12-hour-long event is dedicated to the memory of founders Henry and Leona Kreisel and Joe and Irene Gans. This year's telethon will take place at a familiar location as it returns to premier catering at Genetti Ballrooms on Route 309 in Hazel Township. We stop by today as organizers gather to promote the telethon. We have fascinated the community that we have survived so many years in helping so many people battle this cancer. Why should everybody come out to the telethon this year and make a pledge and donate? Because we're at the point now with the American Cancer Society, they have done so much research, so much in education, public and professional, and services that we want to advocate it more and more and especially we're indulging because there is quite a bit of childhood cancer and we want to emphasize that and acquaint the, co the community with it. And the community has been terrific in the 41 years. Also today, the Hazelton chapter of the Unico Club presented the telethon with a $500 check. And new to the telethon this year is a gift card bingo taking place at 3 p.m. Saturday. Tickets are $25, so stop by Genetti's on Saturday from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. for great entertainment, tricky trays, a bake sale, and more. You can also watch live on Service Electric Cable Channel 7. Pledges can be made by calling 570-459-1212. Another organization dedicated to the fight against cancer hosted its annual dance marathon over the weekend. The 46-hour-long no-sitting event known as THON was held on the University Park campus of Penn State University. We told you about the two dancers, Charlie Karchner and Austin Yelechko from the Penn State Hazleton campus who took part in the event at the Bryce Jordan Center this past Friday through Sunday. These are photos from Penn State Hazleton's Facebook page. When all the donating was done, the THON tote board totaled $10,600,000 dollars for the Ford Diamonds Fund in the fight against childhood cancer. That's $470,000 more than the previous year. Congratulations to all the dancers and everyone who helped to raise that amazing total. Okay, check out this guy at the Polar Plunge yesterday in Weatherly. Dude just dives right in. He's on the right of your screen. Highlight of the week for me. He was one of 33 dedicated people who took part in the second annual Weatherly Polar Plunge. The theme for the event was Freezing for a Reason, with the proceeds benefiting the Weatherly Ambulance Association. Weatherly Mayor Tom Connors tells us that this year's event raised almost double last year's, bringing in $1,800. $1,500 will be donated to the Weatherly Ambulance and the Citizens and the LNL Fire Company along with the scuba rescue team from Lee Heighton will each receive $100. All three groups helped to make this fun and safe event possible. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Take a look through my telescope. That is Venus up there on the right. And then we have Saturn, a little red dot kind of above the trees. That wasn't from this morning. Way too cloudy that was from over the weekend. Here's our forecast.
From the National Weather Service tonight will be partly cloudy, low of 13 with the wind chill. It will feel like negative one. Tomorrow, cold, sunny with a high of 28, but the wind chill will feel like negative one. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, low of 16 degrees. Wednesday, some snow, 80% chance, mainly after 1 p.m., high of 27 degrees. At night, snow, freezing rain, and sleet, 80% chance of precipitation, low of 27 degrees. Thursday, partly sunny as we hit the mid 40s for a high. Thursday night, partly cloudy, low of 26. Friday is partly sunny with a high of 40, and Friday night, mostly cloudy with a low of 26 degrees. Time for another giveaway from SSP TV News and Booty's Place in the Laurel Mall. Call us now, 570-459, extension 108. To win a gift card, we need your full name and number. One lucky winner drawn at random will receive the $15 gift card to Booty's Place. Quality homemade food made to order. Remember, you can only win once every 30 days on SSP TV. League Championship basketball games were held over the weekend. Here's the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Nanakoke was down 18 points, but they came back in the second half in the Wyoming Valley Conference semifinals to beat Hazleton area. They lost in the championship game to Wyoming Seminary. Seminary had to be Crestwood to get the title, to get to the title game. In the Wyoming Valley Conference Girls Championship, Holy Redeemer beat Hazleton area in the title game. The Lady Cougars did lead in the second half, but Holy Redeemer was fueled by a 23 to nothing fourth quarter run. Mono area girls lost to Jim Thorpe in a tight Schuylkill League title game. Mono area boys lost on Friday night in the league semifinals to Pottsville. All of our local teams I just talked about and a few more are getting ready for district playoffs this week. We will talk about that on Community NEPA News with Dave Seaman from the Standard Speaker. Penn State Hazleton men's and women's basketball teams will play in the Penn State University Athletic Conference playoffs this week. The women ended their regular season with the win over Penn State York. The men lost. On Tuesday, the men will face Penn State Wilkes-Barre in the PSU AC quarterfinals. The women are at Penn State Brandywine on the same day. Check out our feature later on in the show about the school's all-time leading scorer, Mackenzie Prutzman. Finally, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton and Penguins lost the game in overtime on Saturday to Utica at home, but then on Saturday they got a victory in their other game against Hartford in overtime. Coming up on SSP TV News, that story on Mackenzie Prutzman in sports, and see what one school in our area is doing to combat bullying. Watch SSP TV in Hazleton in HD on Service Electric Cablevision Channel 513 and in SD on Channel 13. Good evening everyone, here's today's Talk of the Town. Troop 772, Hazleton Area's first all-girl scouts will be having an open house tomorrow from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church. For more information, you can get in touch with Jessica at the email on your screen. The next performance in the Greater Hazleton Concert Series will be held this Thursday at the Hazleton Area High School Auditorium starting at 7.30 p.m. The 41st Annual American Cancer Society Telethon is set for this Saturday starting at 11 a.m. and going on until 11 p.m. The event is back at Premier Catering at Janetti's Ballroom. The Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce will be hosting a first aid CPR and AED training on Tuesday, February 26th from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. It will be $90 for chamber members and $115 for non-chamber members. You must register in advance. To register, you can go to hazeltonchamber.org or you can call the chamber at 570-455-1509. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SPTV News, I'd like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Bernadine Kuntz of Hazleton, Mass be Tuesday at 10 a.m. at Most Precious Blood Church. Friends may call Tuesday from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. at the Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home. And August J. Rouse of McAdoo. Services will be held at the convenience of the family under the Damiano Funeral Home.